This video is sponsored by Daryl's Companion Dog, who I wish could be in France with him, but I don't know if he'd be able to outrun all those new walkers. Hey guys, AGYT Abbott here, and welcome back to my review for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. Uh, sorry for this review being a little bit behind. My Wi-Fi router died on me this week, so it's kind of set me back. I've had to change up some upload schedules. Uh, but we're here to talk about episode 2, which is called Moulin Rouge, uh, which is probably the only episode title I'll be able to even pronounce because <laughs> they're all in French, but I know this one just because there's a movie named after it. Um, so uh, this video will contain spoilers for, of course, the previous episode, as well as some of season one of Daryl Dixon. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, come back and hear my thoughts. Uh, we're just going to do uh, a non-spoiler and a spoiler section. Non-spoiler is not going to take too long. Uh, so, in this episode, we have the aftermath of Daryl getting back from the rescue mission of Faru and a few others. Uh, we have Carol and Ash who land in Greenland and meet these two characters that... Oh boy, they reminded me of uh, Fear the Walking Dead because Fear the Walking Dead will bring in these crazy random characters like in an episode and within that same episode y you know you know what happens uh but anyway uh i i th i thought this was a f this was a solid follow up to the premiere i think the premiere while it said oh i said it sagged a little bit i said that this episode uh picked it up a little bit it has a little bit more action as we, as we see Daryl Isabel and some others go on a mission i can't get into the details of it yet uh, which has some great action in it. The stunt team is killing it this season. Overall, I really enjoyed uh, this episode. Like I said, I think it's a good follow-up to the premiere. You got some good Ash and Carol stuff, as long as well as some Daryl, Laurent, and Isabel stuff. You have Faru getting back into the action, or Falu, sorry. Uh, overall, I'm going to give this episode an another 7 out of 10, and like I said, I know that seems low, but I'm just waiting for one of those episodes. I feel like next episode is going to be a really good one because uh, we'll get into spoilers why, but there's going to be some awesome action kicking in. Uh, I feel like next episode is going to have some great character uh, stuff as well as some great action stuff. This episode was really enjoyable. It's just one thing in particular of regarding the Carol and Ash stuff that was a little bit off-putting. I'll get into that. Uh, in the spoiler section, and you can join me there now. So join me there, and we'll talk spoilers. Uh, so really quick for the spoilers, Ash and Carol land in Greenland. They meet these two survivors, and pretty much they're just one-and-done characters. Just like Fear the Walking Dead, they'll introduce a character, and within that same episode, they will be gone, uh, and they will move on. And in this episode, it's actually kind of crazy how quick it happens. It's almost like... It, I don't even think the full segment of that episode lasts but maybe 15 minutes. Basically, Carol and Ash land. They meet them. They talk to them a little bit. They head back to their, their place. Ash says that he needs to fix a hole in the fuel line. They say, oh, we have some stuff we can help you with. And she, one of them goes back with Ash to the plane. Uh, and one of them stays there with Carol. And Carol gets the crossbow pointed at her by this one chick and says, I lost the coin toss. I have to kill you, even though I don't want to. And they're like, oh, the other chick's supposed to kill Ash? And so they're like, no, kill him. And then we cut to that conversation between this other chick and Ash, which I found was really funny because Ash is not having her shit. She basically asks him to fuck. They, these two want his sperm. She's like, first you can do me, and then you can do Hannah. And that's they want to repopulate the Earth because they are actually scientists that were heading to Greenland to study... I think it was climate change? Was it cli something to do with climate? Obviously, that didn't work uh, because they were only supposed to be there for three months and the world went to shit, so they couldn't get their PhDs, but I guess they still had that same uh, psych psychology or ideology in their minds that, oh, we can, we can repopulate the Earth. And Ash is not having that. She pulls a gun on him, ties him up there to the plane, heads back to where Carol is... Uh, trying to negotiate out of this with Hannah pointing the crossbow at her. And Carol does show some really real emotion there. Like, I feel like Carol is being sincere and saying, like, you don't have to do this. And Hannah ends up uh, betraying her friend, killing her, and going back with Carol to the plane. But little does Ash know, oh, they resolve things. But Ash thinks, shit, she's going to kill Carol. 
and he fires a flare gun into her neck, and it kills her, and then they just leave. They go on their merry way. And then, what's crazy about that is we still have, like, another, like, 20 minutes of the episode after that. I was like, what? That is one of the most unnecessary detours ever. But they took it. I don't know. Hell, hell if I know uh, why they did that. But anyway, that was just one nitpick I had. It was just felt unnecessary. But all the other stuff is great. We get Daryl and Isabel having to go look for Laurent. Because we find out that someone's taken him. And then we get a twist. Lo Sang's uh, right-hand woman, I forget what her name is. She actually sends a bunch of the people from the nest out there with Daryl and Isabel to kill them and make sure that they don't come back to the nest because they don't want it to get in the way of Laurent's uh, education because they, they want Laurent to apparently participate in this ceremony where they are going to prove that he is immune to the a walker bite. They're going to have a walker bite him, and if, you know when he doesn't turn, they'll be like, Oh, the Messiah! But obviously Daryl and Isabel aren't down for that shit. Even if they do maybe think that Laurent is special. They're not going to fucking let someone just let him get bit by a walker. So they kick ass. They uh, are going to go to the nest in the next episode with Falou. He survived. Uh, Emil sadly was a part of the, the betrayal clan with the nest. And Isabel put him down. Sad end for that character. But you know you don't fuck with Daryl Dixon. I know who does fuck with Daryl Dixon though. Isabel, even though they don't, they don't actually do that, but they, they do kiss, Daryl goes in for it, man, I was happy for it, I was all for it, man, I love Daryl, I want him to be happy, and Isabel is a great character, so I'm looking forward to that, uh, I hope they continue that dynamic between them, and then Laurent, they can be a nice little family, uh, and she says that she'll go back with him to Alexandria, and, or Commonwealth, whatever, uh, yeah, that sounds great to me. Uh, so that's where I'm going to end this review. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Stay tuned for more reviews. I'm going to get, we have four episodes left. Looking forward to it. Lots of good action to come. Lots of good Carol and Daryl goodness. I'll see you then. Take care and goodbye.